Google has a security team named Project Zero, and for the last six months or so, they have discovered 18 vulnerabilities in the Exynos modem used in the Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 6a, the Pixel 7, and the Pixel 7 Pro. These vulnerabilities have also been found in other devices using this modem, including the Vivo S16, Vivo S15, Vivo S6, the Vivo X70, the Vivo X60, and the Vivo X30 series. Not only that, but the Samsung Galaxy S22, M33, M13, M12, A71, A53, A33, A21, A13, A12, and the A04 series of phones also use this modem and are also vulnerable to these exploits. Four of these 18 vulnerabilities will allow an attacker to remotely compromise a phone at the baseband level. And what makes this even worse is that these attacks require zero user interaction. All the attacker needs to know is your phone number and they will be able to gain access to your device and your data. Now the other 14 exploits are not as critical since they require an attack directly from the mobile network operator or with, from someone with local access to your device, but they are still considered critical vulnerabilities and need to be patched up as soon as possible. Usually when a research developer discovers these type of exploits, they disclose them to the public rather quickly. However, Project Zero has made an exception with these four critical security holes, and they have delayed disclosure due to how they allow for remote code execution at the baseband level. The good news is that these security issues are fixable and that the update to patch them began rolling out earlier this week. The bad news is that over-the-air updates like these tend to take a long time, even for Google Pixel devices. And I'm seeing many reports from people who are still running the February security update. Some OEMs tend to take their time pushing out these type of over-the-air updates as well. So if you have any of the devices listed here, then you'll want to install that March security update as quickly as possible. While waiting for these updates to be rolled out, Google's Project Zero are advising people to disable both Voice over LTE and Voice over Wi-Fi until you get the March security update installed. This can be done by opening up the Settings application selecting the network and internet option, tapping on the SIM card that you have installed, choosing the Wi-Fi calling option, and then disabling this feature using the toggle there. Then you're gonna to wanna to go back to the SIM card that you have and then disable voice over LTE using the 4G calling toggle. These labels and the menus could look different on your device as these screenshots were taken from a Google Pixel smartphone, but you should be able to quickly find the voice over LTE and voice over Wi-Fi toggles from within the SIM section of the settings application. It sucks that these devices are vulnerable to these type of attacks, but it's good that they have been discovered and patched. This is why installing monthly security updates are important, and it's why you should get your phone from a company who has a good track record 
of pushing out these monthly security updates as quickly as possible. Still, even if you aren't able to get this update installed for whatever reason, then go through those steps outlined earlier and disable these two features so that your device and your data remain secure.